Hello everyone and welcome to PC Building Simulator. This is a lot different to what's usually on the channel. It's not GTA related. So it's not so different to what I'm used to doing though in real life because for the last six or so years, I've ran my own little side IT PC building, unfortunately fixing printers. Don't even get me started on those and uh, things like that of that nature. So to, to put it into perspective, I once was turned down from a job at a cable company that rhymes with rectum uh, because I was quote overqualified. So when I was in the interview, the dude was like, you'd be perfect down in our, in our server room. And you know, we, okay, are you hiring down there? No, you need to start out as a installation and work your way up. Well, how the fuck am I supposed to do that if I'm overqualified? Anyway, that's enough of my, you know, history with Spectrum. But yeah, so I would, this has been in the, the, my uh, Epic Games library. It was a free game, I think, a while back. And it recently got a free IT expert or I forget what it's called, expansion pack. And that's what we're going to check out today. I've been wanting to, you know, do some new things on the channel and figured what, after seeing this had an update, figured why not start here. So let's get right into it. All right. Welcome to the IT expansions. You are now an IT support contractor for Eurotech. <laughs> Eurotech. I see what they did there. Corporation. Have you played PC building simulator before? I have, but like I said, it's been a minute. So we're going to click no. So gameplay settings. Um, I know that there's shipping things in order. There's different levels of shipping that cost different amounts. So you have to, because I've seen other people play the game too. That makes sense. Um, I the cash injection will keep that. I don't want to do the. I'm not going to do the basic tutorial. I don't think because it should be fairly simple and what I'm used to. So Aerotech has already set up your workshop PC. So let's get the work. Move the mouse over the screen. Left click it to use the computer. Then open up the email app. Oh, it, it grabbed my desktop wallpaper. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh, see that right there? That, that's, th those are evil. <laughs> those are the big version of the evil ones. So we need to open email. So let's get you on board. But you can't wait to get started. But I have a, I've had a bit of an incident. I'll explain in the notes section below. I need to, you to reinstall typo, word processor, boring but necessary. Sell out, we love a good spreadsheet and document reader for opening PDFs. And if you and you can also uninstall cookbooks and data mine. I don't need either of them. By the way, you can do it. Can you do anything about all the dust? Okay, so welcome to Eurotech. We are so happy to have you. I'm Matt, this new starting liaison, and I'll be heading handling your onboarding. Don't worry, it's super easy. Just a few forms and a couple of presentations, a basic skills text, followed by gr three groups of sessions, a one-on-one -on -one with HR and 14 hours of mandatory safety training. Because you could poke your eye out with tweezers while building a PC. <laughs> so I expect that, I expect you're looking forward to all of that, but I need your help first. I just came back from holiday and my computer's all dusty. So I've been trying to find, I've tried to find which apps removes dust, which I know exists because I've heard people talk about wiping their drives before. <laughs> then I searched the apps list for remove and started clicking on things. Well, to cut a long story short, I'm missing a bunch of programs now and the dust is still there. Talk about a case of the Mondays, but we'll, we can get you started with your onboarding soon. Okay. So objectives, PC can boot to OS, typo is installed and working, sell out and document reader are installed and working, uninstall data mine, uninstall cookbooks and clean out dust. So we are going to go ahead and do this one first. So yeah, for the last, since I built my first PC when I was 17, 16 or 17, where's the workstation? There we go. Um, it was a, oh God, it was an oop, phone going off. It was an AMD X4 860K. It was a, it was a quote unquote four core processor, but it was not a four core processor. It was two cores and four threads. It was four hyper threaded cores, essentially. Not great at all. So and that was a, uh, 
a uh oh there we go that was really like real it was a bad computer it was not good it had a gtx 950 it was the first graphics card i ever had so not great two gigs of vram it just was not good so i built that in 20 beginning of 2016 then we uh or i waited used that for about a year and a half and then i swapped out the x4 amd processor for a uh a uh fx that's loud jesus <laughs> okay that's loud um i swapped that out for an fx 6300 which was supposedly a six core processor but was not actually six cores it was three cores and six hyper threaded cores or six threads and was just wasn't very good at all and i used that for three years but I had it overclocked. It was overclocked from 3.6 gigahertz to 4.5 is what I was running in at. So it was a very aggressive overclock. Somehow did not kill it. Oh, I need a USB drive. Um, is that in my computer? Or is that in my inventory? Um, install. Yes. So yeah, oh crap, I unplugged the stupid keyboard. Okay. There we go. So yeah, it was not good. So we need to install typo. No. See, people don't realize this. When you're m installing multiple things at one time, you don't need to reboot after each program install. For the most part. Some things you do, like especially with like updating GPU drivers and stuff like that. I always, I never, that, that's an exclusive only use that thing kind of thing. Oh, she wanted something called docu, some document opener. Uh, there you go, PDF reader. No, cause we're gonna remove cookbooks. No, and data mine. And that's the last thing that we're changing. So now we're gonna reboot. So it's gonna reboot and hopefully we're good. But yeah, so that's the history of my PC. The current PC that we are using now is just a tiny bit better than my first PC. It's a R, it's a F, Jesus, AMD Ryzen 5 3600 overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz, a RX 6600, eight gigs model that is overclocked to 2700 megahertz average and then a little bit of a bump on the memory clock so yeah 16 gigs of ddr4 3200 megahertz cl16 is the timings on it if i remember right i, I messed with the timings a little bit but i haven't messed not a whole lot we can actually go ahead and shut that down because now we need to clean this so i think if we go to install and grab our compressed air oh we have to open the case oh okay so we gotta remove that install doesn't seem to be doing anything Why does that not seem to be doing anything? Oh, it's just taking forever. That's weird. This is actually something that I need to do on my own system. Probably Monday. I have no clue when you'll be watching this, but that looks clean. So we can go back to install. Um, Okay, PC parts, side panel, there we go. Okay, so now we can place the, oop, place the PC in the shipping area and get it, oh, right here, place. So that is done. So we, I think we come here and we go to collect. That's allowed. So yeah, 
250 bucks. You're a star. Everything in its back and it's clean. So which app did you rem use to remove the dust on the end? Uh, canned air. It's hard to find. Okay. So there's this. Hey, just wanted to say good luck on your first day. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. This is just some lady basically saying good luck. And this is the breakdown of how clocking out at the end of the day, make sure you exit through the door and provide. Okay. So we should be good. So we'll go ahead and discard those. We'll leave that one. Cause it leaves a, It's got a couple like to tricks things. So we'll do that. And I think that's it for this day. So I think we need to restart or go here to leave the workshop and end our day. Yep. I heard an email coming. So most complete job. This should be your top priority. Okay. So looks like we got a new, oh, this should be your top priority. So that's the one that we need to, uh, yeah, we have a deadline on the seventh and it's the fifth in the game. So receive requesting an urgent fix for my computer. The power supply seems to have shorted out. That's not good. I also strongly suggest you upgrade the available memory to 16 gigs. I'll leave you to your discretion, but I can't promise it won't come up in your next performance review. So basically give them 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, I realized you just started here, but I created this company and I'm not about to sit and twiddle my thumbs while, while those slaps and HR pedal their orientation and, and important safety notice nonsense. Every minute I go without my computer, Aerotech is losing money. It could have been simple wear and tear, a faulty component, or it's could have been the Vento Americano that I dropped on it this morning. It's impossible to say. Whatever the cause, the fate of the entire company is now in your hands. Get this right and you'll be in my good books. I may even mention you in the company newsletter. So we'll, we'll go to ticket and we can just go to the PC now. So it's the one that yes so we need to take this one but yeah so like i was saying i've done like freelance it work like for people i know friends of friends stuff like that i've built god four different gaming computers for people which is all my favorite thing to do i love the building aspect and also the like configuring software and tweaking and getting the most bang out of what you bought. So I overclock everything. I also will, um, I'll optimize windows. There's a couple little tweaks that you can do in regedit that some people claim don't work, but in my experience, they help a little bit and kind of, I've also disabled a bunch of windows nonsense that doesn't need to be there like Cortana and a bunch of other things, but that's, kind of beside the point. So PC, it needs a new power supply. So technically I should not have plugged it in. So let's, uh, that's on me. I forgot what we were doing. I need to remove the side panel. Hopefully this is, oh, what the hell? It's a mini ITX build. So it is going to be, it's going to be a pain. How do I flip the computer around? Oh, there we go. Okay. I can zoom in too. Oh, this is going to be fun. Why are there no... That's interesting. Those cables don't look like they're connected to anything, but I think that's just the model. So there was the extension cable that goes to here, which we might... I wonder if that got fried. And he spilled his coffee on it. And now we can remove the power supply. So we need to look in our inventory, uh, PC parts, or no, that'd be under power supplies. What did we just remove? We removed a 550 watt. So that is what we are going to replace it with. Um, oop, there we go. We got to come over here and actually go to the shop. We need memory. Oh, I need to look and see what it's got in there currently. So let's not do that yet. We'll get power supply. How much were we making from this? Five hundred. So five hundred dollars is our budget. 
So let's go. It's 500. Or no, that was a 550 watt, wasn't it? So. I had a, I was going to say, he had the Corsair, the bronze. Which is interesting. That's an ATX form factor and not an SFX. So we'll add that. And we'll actually go over here and see what RAM we need to get. Move. So it's got eight gigs of uh, Patriot, Viper, Steel Series, eight gig, 30,000 megahertz or mega transfers per second, if you want to say it that way. So go ahead. We will get him memory. I think this is this is a dual channel board, right? Yeah, so or it's single channel. So we will go to memory. We want 30 3000 megahertz will be just fine. We can do two sticks of eight. Oh wait, he already has a stick. So what was that? It's an A data. Oh no, it's a Patriot. Duh. Duh, duh. Okay, Patriot. Yeah, this right here. So we'll just get him another one of those. That'll make it 16 gigs of RAM. I want next day delivery is fine. So we are good there. And that's all we can do for today. So let's leave the shop and the day. Now we can go to work. And here's our new inventory. And we will get right at it. Now, I'm a bit of a speedrunner when it comes to putting computers together. I can do it in about, oh God, it takes me no time. I've got it down to a science now. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. We need our power supplies, this one. Did it? Okay, it plugged in everything. Wonder if that's an option I enabled by accident. Um, we you never put the side panel on until you after you uh post it. You see if it posts. Okay, so we posted, so we're good. It's got an ROG uh uh motherboard in it, so this isn't a slouch of a machine. So it's good. So we'll go ahead and work on this PC. Install the Side panel. It's a reverse case is what it is. Usually the, everything's flipped and everything's the, yeah, the entire motherboard tray is flipped and it's on the right hand side of the case instead of the left, which is interesting. I could see that, you know, someone wanting that. That's why it threw me off when I took off the side panel and nothing was there besides the back of the uh, board. So we'll go ahead Turn off the PC, which unplugs everything, pick it up and put it there. So go here, go to email this and we will collect. That's loud. <laughs> now that's the kind of efficiency and dedication I like to see. Keep it up and you'll do well here. Okay. So we're done with that. we got some forms. Okay, been trying to find the docs for your onboarding, but my drive is so cluttered. Could you install CleanIt Pro and give it a once over for me? And I've got some forms to print off, but the printer isn't working. Imagine that. I could go with a literally an hour long rant about printers because printers, they, they just don't work for no reason. Like my, <laughs> my great aunt has a stupid Canon printer. It's a wireless printer and it just refuses to stay connected to her Wi-Fi network. And there's no uh, Ethernet jack on it to hardwire it. So it has to be connected to be a Wi-Fi and it refuses to stay connected. And I, I basically told her if it, best thing I can tell you, instead of paying me more, just go buy a new printer. <laughs> and then you got the stupid ink cartridges. So it's just, it's a pain. So this is a stupid printer that, oh, 
use printer. The printer is shared between everyone at your attack, and it is your job to keep it running. Fuck me. If it stops working, try turning it off and on again. That actually, believe it or not, is like extremely common to like fix a lot of shit and use the restart process on Windows because if you shut down, sometimes Windows doesn't fully close all the apps. It goes into like an ultra power saving mode. It's off, but yet it's not off. It's like in a suspended state is what I would consider it. So we have our paper tray. That's full. That's full. What is this? This is the power button. So we'll just shut it off. Let's turn it back on and look, the printer's fixed. Why? Okay, so this is the printer that, or the computer that goes along with the printer fix. So the printer is fixed. This needs to be connected to everything. But yeah, this, I could sit and play this game all day. I could sit in real life and just mess around with the computer all day. I mentioned earlier that my old computer, the one before the Ryzen build, the FX build is actually now a server. It is a home theater PC slash server. So it runs a couple 5M servers. It runs a Plex server that I connect to via, well, right here, this is a big thing. This, this drives me nuts. You don't do this. You don't put the RAM sticks right next to each other because that is in single channel mode. So we are actually going to remove that. And if we go to memory, we're going to open up this one and we are going to install it properly, which, Ooh, is this an AMD build? It is an AMD build. So technically it should be this way. It should be this way. Cause this is a one and this is B one on most boards. I could be wrong. It depends on, you know, manufacturing and all that. But for the most part, that's generally what I've seen. And I've seen a couple different AMD AM4 boards in my time. So see if it'll boot. We're, yep. We posted and everything. We're good. Now they wanted, oh, they wanted that, uh, let's see, PC power. Oh, nope. Tools and software. This, we want that. There we go. Add and remove programs. They wanted, what was it? Something to uninstall or you can install Fall Guys. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And there's sock car, which is like a knockoff. I like Fortnite, Fort fight. It would have been better if they did fork fight, but she wanted to clean it pro and installed on it. And I think she wanted me to run it too, or he, this was a dude, wasn't it? This program is taking forever to install. We're going to reboot. That's so loud. I'm going to have to turn that down in post, but. Yeah, this is like, if you're interested in computers and learning more about, you know, how to build and stuff, this game would be perfect. It, it, it is because they've done a very good job with it. It's, you, you don't forget to put thermal, if you forget to put thermal paste on the processor, it's going to overheat. I don't know if they have anything where you can like, uh, okay. So it's good. So clean up complete. So we are good. We'll go ahead and power it down. We will install side panels and we will place it in the delivery area. So good. So yeah, if you're interested in computers and learning more about them, this game would be very good to kind of get a sense of how it is because you can play with expensive parts and don't have to buy them. Because I will tell you this, I have spent more on computers than I have on both my first car and my second car, the Vic. I have spent more on the Ryzen build alone more than I spent on both of those combined, the Grand Prix and the Vic. So it is a, it's like, 
I, I describe it as very expensive Legos building a computer because everything just kind of snaps together and only fits a certain way. And then you pray that you didn't fuck it up, essentially. <laughs> so, but I didn't think you did the virus scan. You're going to tell me that my little NF, NSF. <laughs> no, I won't. She didn't want a virus scan. Or didn't, it wasn't in our objectives. Did it say in the email? Oh, I didn't run a virus scan. That's on my, that's my bad. But it wasn't in the objective, so I don't know. I would assume Clean It Pro was also a virus scanner too. I don't know. We're going to discard that. This email is good. And we have a tablet now, so we can do that. You can also give stuff to the night shift, evidently. So that's kind of cool. So we're good there. Go ahead and shut our computer down and get those fans from going. And that's where we're going to end this episode, I think. So we'll, we'll probably do a couple more episodes of this. I'd like to play through, through this. I don't know if it'll be recorded or I'd maybe live stream at one point. Because this would be a cool like live stream game because I'm not totally focused, so I can read chat and whatnot. So anyway, if you like this, make sure you leave a like and let me know in the comments if you want to see more. Subscribe and hit the bell icon and all that jazz if you're new here. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Take care.